Hello. Hello, hello, class. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? So, so. So, so. Okay. Okay. How was your day? How was your day at work? ¿Qué tal les fue en el trabajo este día? Was it good, bad, hard, difficult? Hard. Hard, right, it was hard. Hard, that is like, oh no, you say it was like, it was very exhausting. <laughs> well, thank you very, very, very much for all the audios that you sent me. I was listening to all of them and details, right? We have little details. For example, the pronunciation of favorite, right? That's one of the most common mistakes, right? Favorite, favorite. Color, right? My favorite color. My favorite food, you say, food. The most common mistake that I listened was favorite, okay? That was the most common one, the one that we need to practice more. And also my name right my name. my name and when you say hello everybody hello everybody you don't say everybody right you say hello everybody yeah that's that's a very common mistake but it is going to be fixed during the process of learning right we are going to learn a little bit more so we're going to have more chances to practice and for sure more chances to do the things in a better way well, so today we are going to start the class, first of all, by welcoming everybody, welcoming Ana, Rosita, Jamilet, Miss Wendy, Violeta, Mr. Roberto, Mayerly, Sandra, Cynthia, hello, Mr. Nelson, Reinita, Fatima, Jasmine, Roxanita, Mireya, Miss Rosa Maria, and for sure, Miss Ana Jamilet. Welcome to your class. It is a great happiness for me to have you here, okay? And for sure, I hope that you have had a very good day. Espero que todos hayan tenido un muy buen día. It is uh, the question, right, that I, that I always use with you. And it says like, how was your day? And let me write the question for everybody. I am going to write it here on the board. My my first question, the question that I always ask at the beginning of the class, and I say, how was your day? Okay, that is the, the question that I always say. Okay. Esa es la pregunta que siempre le voy a hacer al inicio de la clase. How was your day? And then on this one, you can say, it was good. It was busy. It was nice, right? It was nice. It was hard, you can say. It was hard. You can say it was wonderful. It was marvelous, right? And if it is not that good, you can say it was not so good. It was not so good. It was like, nah, dude. but it, it, I am here, right? That's the most important thing. So when I ask you the question, how was your day? You have all these options. But estas son unas cuantas, right? The ones that you can say, it was good, teacher. It was busy that you had a lot of things to do. It was busy. Can we stay un montón de cosas? It's not busy, okay? It is busy it was busy you say the next one you say it was nice it was a good day right it was nice it was hard hard it was like i teach it was wonderful wonderful it was like beautiful it was a very nice day it was wonderful 
The next one, it was marvelous, marvelous. Marvelous is like perfect, beautiful, wonderful, marvelous. Maybe you had pollo campero today and you love pollo campero. You say, ah, it was marvelous, teacher. You love pizza and today you had pizza. You say, like, teacher, the day was perfect. It was marvelous. But if you say, like, for example, yeah, it was not so good, teacher. Nah, compré un mango, teacher, y estaba arruinado. Dolor. <laughs> It was not so good, right? Me regalaron un mango, teacher, y tenía gusano. It was not so good. <laughs> el problema no es que tenga gusano. El problema es encontrar medio gusano. <laughs> That's a problem, right? So it was not so good, you see. It was not so good. Yeah, pero la teacher siempre va a tener algún chiste para hacerlo reír. <laughs> it was not so good, but yeah. So now I can ask you again. Students, how was your day? Let's see. Ana Leticia, how was your Ana Leticia? How was your day? It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Okay, it was wonderful. Rosa Maria, how was your day? It was busy. It was busy. Very good. Jamilet Ardon, how was your day? It was nice. It was nice. Very good. Uh, Mr. Nelson Efraín, how was your day? It was good. It was good. Mayerly Alejandra, how was your day? Evening, my day, it was good. It was good. Okay, let me see. Jasmine Portillo, how was your day? It was busy. It was busy. Okay, let me see. Reina Jael, how was your day? It was good. It was good. Hey, you, you sound a little bit better. That's nice. Mr. Daniel Edgardo, how was your day? Hello. Hello. How was your day? I cannot see it. Uh -huh. it was good. Yes, yeah. good. It was it, good. It was good. It was good. Nubia Serrano, how was your day? I was wonderful. It was wonderful, right? It, it was, was wonderful. wonderful. Very it good. was wonderful. Excellent job, right? right? It was wonderful. Perfect. Okay, I cannot see the cameras of Jasmine, Daniel, Roxana, Rosa Maria, and Ana Jamilet. Okay, please remember to keep your cameras on because that is a requisite that we have for the class. Tenemos ese requisito de que tenemos que tener la cámara encendida los 60 minutos de clases. Que porfa, eh, me ayudan con eso. Roxanita, Rosa Maria, Ana Jamilet, y Daniel Edgardo. Thank you very much. Okay. La tengo... La cámara, ¿no? Yeah, yeah. All of all the rest have their cameras on, and that's perfect. Okay, very good. So now you have more vocabulary to express your day, right? Now you have a little bit more vocabulary to express your day. And who who is in darkness? Roxana, it's in the darkness. It's okay. Don't worry, right? You can have it there. Al menos sabemos que ahí está. So you can keep your camera on. Good. So we're going to start today and we're going to do a little practice on spelling. I know that you learned how to spell in the previous module, so I don't have to ask you if you can do it or not because I know that you can do it. Well, I am going to show you, I am going to show you a couple of sentences and you are going to help me spell them, okay? Can you help me spell this word? Help me spell it. How do you spell this one? Yo. Uh -huh. R A C E E. Very good. What is the meaning of race? Race. Arroz. Race. No, what is the meaning of race? Race. Carrera. 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 <laughs> 
I did the rice in a race. Carrera. Rice. Rice is a rose. Rice. race. Rice is carrera. Good. Rice. What about this one? Uh, yo. Okay, go ahead. Yo. P O. Uh huh. N D. What is the meaning of P O N D? Pond. What is the meaning of pond? Pond. What is the meaning of this? Pond. Pond. Uh huh. Estanque. Estanque, right? Estanque. Very good. Estanque, donde están los patitos, donde están los uh, animalitos, yeah. right? Un estanque. Donde están los cisnes. <laughs> Un estanque. The next word. B, yo puedo. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Everybody, si lo pueden hacer dos, tres al mismo tiempo, it's okay. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. B E L T. B E L T, right? Cinturón. Cinturón. This was the most dangerous thing when we were kids, right? Cuando estábamos chiquitos, el terror de la noche. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> what is it? E, e, how, how do you spell this one? How do you say it? K. 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 I. T. E. Okay. What is the meaning of kite? Kite. Kite. What is the kite. meaning of kite? It's not kite. Okay. Please don't say it. Kite. The cometa. ones that, that you fly in October, exactly like that. Cometa, right? Cometa, very good uh, job. Cometa. cometa. What about the next one? Here you have another one. F-O-R-K. F-O-R-K. What is the meaning of this? Tenedor. Tenedor, right? Very good. Fork. What about this one? C O C U B A C U B E A C U B E cube. What is the meaning of cube? Cube, no. Cubo. <laughs> cubo, right? Cubo, not cubo. Cubo. Very cubo. good. Cubo. Cubo. Okay. Then, then you have the Rubik cube. The Rubik Cube, the game that you have with different colors, right? It is from, from that name. What about this one? J-E-L-L-Y. J-E-L-L-Y, good. What is the meaning of this? Gelatina. Gelatina, oh. Jelly, the one that you put in the sandwich. What is the name of that one that you put in the sandwich? Mayonesa. No, it's similar to gelatina. <laughs> Mermelada. Yeah. Mermelada o jalea. Yeah. Very good job. What about this one? C O W C O W. C O W. Baca. Very good job. Baca. Very good job. Baca. Very good job. What about this one? L M M P. L A M P. L A M P. What is this? Lampara. 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 And the last one that we are going to have today is this one. N I G I I H T. G H T. What is the meaning of that? Noche. Noche. When is your class? At night, you see. The class is at night. Very good job on the spelling, right? It is important to remember the spelling of the of the letter K, right? K, as in kite, right? We have kite with K. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's go back here to our presentation, right? Yesterday, we were working on introducing ourselves. Right. We were working on introducing I, ourselves. Favorite. Favorite. 
My favorite. That was one of the things that we listened on the audios that we need to work a little bit more, right? Tenemos que trabajarlo un poquito más. Lo estuvimos escuchando en los audios y lo tenemos que mejorar un poquito, right? So, I, I always invite you to listen to your friends' audios. Listen to the audios of your friends and check and analyze and say like, let me see. Quiero ver cómo mando el audio Wendy. And then you listen to Wendy. Quiero ir el de Violeta. And then you listen. Because when you listen from others, you can also learn. Okay? Podemos aprender también de los demás. A diferenciar eh, errores, a marcar errores. Hey, ya dijo favorite, yes, favorite there. But it is a matter of learning from each other. Okay? You can also react to the audios. Una vez que los escuchen, pueden poner una reacción al audio, un like o algo para que sus compañeros se sientan apoyados y motivados a seguir enviando sus tareas. That you have different fans on the group. Okay, so I have a question. How do you move around the city? How do you move around the place? Do you drive? Do you walk? Do you take the bus? Here in El Salvador, we cannot take the subway because the only subway that we have is the one for the hamburgers and the sandwiches. It's the only subway that we have. Take the train. We don't have train, right? We used to have, but we don't have any more. Do you ride a bike? Do you ride a motorcycle? Or do you take a taxi, a cab, an Uber? How do you move around the city? How do you move around the city? And you can tell me, well, teacher, I walk, I take the bus, I drive, I ride my motorcycle, right? How do you normally move around the city? Here, to answer this one, you can say, well, teacher, I take the bus. Or you can say, teacher, I drive my car. I ride my bike. Okay. What is the difference? Why don't you say I drive my bike? ¿Por qué no decimos I drive my bike? Y decimos I ride my bike. Porque en la bicicleta vamos montados en la bicicleta. Como montar a caballo. Ride a horse, right? Ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle. That's the difference. And when the other ones we say, take, I drive, I take the bus, right? And when you say I take the bus, it is not that you actually take it, right? I take the bus teacher. No, I take the bus because I stop the bus and I go inside. So tell me, how do you move around the city? You can raise your hand and give me your opinion. Or there in the camera, you can show me your hand and I can give you the word. Fatima, tell me. I take the bus. Okay, what about you, Yasmin? <clears throat> I drive my car. I drive my car, very good. What about the other ones? I take the bus. I take the? the bus. I take the bus, very good. Vilma, tell me. I ride. Um, motorcycle. I ride a motorcycle, you see? Born to be wild. That's nice. Right? Yeah. Very good. Very good. I really like those. I really like the attitude. And I am Ilet. I take the bus. I take the bus. Very good. What about uh, Rosa Maria? I, I drive my car. I drive my car. Very good. Jennifer. And walk. I walk. Good. Ana and Leticia. I take the bus. I take the bus. Very good. I need a couple of more volunteers. Okay. What about the boys? Nelson, Daniel, tell me. <laughs> hey, Roxadita? I take the bus. Very good. Rosa Maria? I take I, I 
take a taxi. I take a taxi. Very good. Daniel? I take... I take... Um, I take a taxi. I take a taxi. Good. What about you, Wendy? I take a taxi. I take a taxi. Cindy Marisol, Cynthia Marisol? I take the bus. I take the bus, very good. Let's see. I need one more volunteer. Uh, no, I, yes, uh, I take a gas train. You take the train, really? Did I you have the train. chance? Did you have the chance to use it. the train? I take it the train. Okay, I take the train. Tu la dicha de subirse al tren todavía? Oh, because we never did it. Nubia, usted si tuvo la dicha de subirse a un tren? Yes. Ah, oh, that's was, that was so nice. Yeah, ya yeah, hace unos años que ya lo quitaron y ya, ya no funciona. <laughs> but, but that's good, right? Tell me, one transportation that you don't like. For example, in my case, I don't like the bike. What about you? I don't like the bus. I don't like the bus. Sí, es bien bonito ir ahí socializando. No a las cinco de la mañana. Ni a las cinco de la tarde. No. Uh -huh. Tell me another one that you don't like. I don't like I take the train. I don't really like to take the train, right? What about <laughs> the, the rest? What is something that you don't like? What is one transportation don't that you don't like the bus? You, you don't like the bus, right? It's winning. We have two volunteers uh -huh, on the bus. What about the rest? Roberto Carlos, what is one that you don't like? I don't like the motorcycle. The motorcycle. 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 Very good. Motorcycle. I don't like to take the bus. You don't like to take the bus. <laughs> Jennifer? I don't like to take a taxi. You don't like to take a taxi. I don't like taxis also. I, I like the, the other transportation, right? I like Uber and all this, but the taxis, I don't like it. And I don't like walk. <laughs> I don't like walk. I don't like to walk. I don't like to walk. You say like, I know. I don't like to walk, right? In some cases, it's better, right? With the traffic here in San Salvador, no, it is better in some cases to walk. Who lives in San Salvador? Raise your hand if you live in San Salvador. Can you say live in San Salvador? Raise your hand. Yeah, in some cases, it is better to walk. Cuando uno ve la gran línea de tráfico, es, ay, mejor camino. <laughs> then you start walking. <laughs> because you move faster. You move faster when you walk, right? And in some cases, when I need to go to Metro Centro or something, ah, I will walk. I said, and I'm like on the street because it is faster. It is really faster. So that's pretty good. Thank you for sharing about the different transportations that you use. Let's go here. We are going to talk a little bit about family members. What vocabulary do you know related to family? What vocabulary do you know related to family members? Uh -huh. What vocabulary? Mother. Mother, uh -huh. Father, my daughter. Father, daughter. Sister. 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 Daughter. Daughter. Brother. Grandpa. Grandmother. 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 Grandson. 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 Aunt, very good, uh, right? Aunt. What else? Any other one that you know? Husband. Sister. Husband, sister, very good. Wife. Uh, wife, excellent. The wife. Husband. Grandmother. Grandmother. Husband. Husband. The, the meaning, I, I am going to give you, I am going to give you the, the uncle. Hey, uncle, very good. Uncle. 
Housing. Housing. Good. Another Housing. one. Give me more examples. I need examples. Example. Song. Song. Very good. Song. Daughter. Grandmother. Good. Father. Father is Daliba. Sister and father. Sister in law. Father. Yes. Father. It's father. Right. So you have. Grandmother, right? Very good. So in this one, let me just, uh, I need, I am going to send you a link. We're going to work here. And in this one, what we are going to do is that we are going to write, right? We're going to write here. Let me see. I have here a couple of words in the vocabulary, right? Family is all these people that are here with us, right? All these people who live with us and that are in a, our house or that are that belong to your family. Do you have a small family or a big family? My family is small. It's small. What about the rest? Do you have a small family or a big family? Small family. A small family. Okay, let me see. Okay, there we go. You have a small family, you say. What about you, uh, Nubia? Do you have a small family or a big family? Uh, it's, uh, my family is, is big. It's big, right? Okay, yeah. that's nice. I really like families that are very big. That's pretty awesome. Okay, do you have your WhatsApp near you? Tienen su WhatsApp ahí cerquita? Okay. Yes. I am yes. going to yes. send you. I am going to send you a link, and on that link, you can write vocabulary related to family. Okay. I need you to write vocabulary related to family. Will you open the link? I need you to write vocabulary related to family. Lo abrimos en este momento, teacher? Yes, right now. Right now. Open it and you can type vocabulary related to family. Were you able to do it? ¿Le funcionó? ¿Pudieron escribir el vocabulario? Let me know. Si no le funcionó, me avisan también. A mí no me funcionó, teacher. Ok, I am going to send it back. Si no, ya se lo voy a enviar. Se lo voy a enviar después de clase. Don't worry. Okay. Para, que lo, para que lo tengamos ahí. So, I am going to use it right here. Pero también aquí lo tengo. Don't worry. Here, this is what we're doing right now. What are the names of the family members that you remember? I have here a small collection, okay? Si no le salió ahí, pues aquí, aquí está. Ya se lo voy a compartir también. I have here a whole list of vocabulary, right? A whole list of vocabulary related to family. The first one that we have is father or dad, right? The next one we have mother or mom. What about the next one? It is song, right? Song, and I'm going to move it right here. Creo que me voy a mover un poquito aquí en la presentación para que lo podamos ver más grande. Here we have song. What about the next one? You have daughter. Daughter is hija. Song is hijo, right? Brother is hermano. hermano. Sister is hermano. hermana. Hermana. Grandfather is abuelo. 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 As well as grandfather, you can have abuelo. grandpa. Abuelo. It's the same. Grandfather and grandpa is the same. Right? Abuelo y abue, o abuelito, right? Grandmother? Abuela. 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 Right? It's abuela. abuela. What about, well, for abuela, you have many different forms. You have grandmother, grandma, granny, right? All the three of them are for abuela. What about the next one? You have grandson. Grandson, sobrino. 
No, grandson is nieto. Nieto, right? Nieto. Grandson. And as you can see, you have grandson. Y el hecho de tener son aquí al final yeah. como es, se refiere a un varón, right? Grandson. Yeah. So granddaughter, it is? Nieta. 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 Right, very good. So let's continue here. Here we have uncle. Tío. So, uncle is tío. Nieta. No, uncle is tío. 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 And the opposite tío. or the contrary is aunt. Tía. Tía, right? And the kids of your uncle or your aunt are your cousin. Primo. Cousin is primo. 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 Here in our country, everybody is your cousin, primo. right? Eso es lo único que, que nos hace diferentes a cualquier otro país. Que aquí en El Salvador, todo el mundo es su primo. Mira aquel que no sea tu primo. Aquel que vaya, tu primo. Yeah. <laughs> and, and si lo ven en Metrocentro con alguien, era mi primo, yo sé. <laughs> Hasta padrino, <¿no? laughs> padrino. ¿no? Aunque no sea. Aunque no sea nadie de familia. Si usted va allá al, al, allá al cantón de donde es la familia, todos son primos. Todos son primos. <laughs> so it's like, it happens to me, right? Yeah. All my family comes from a side from Santa Ana. And every time that we go there, he's like, my father is like, aquel es tu primo, mira. Y aquel es el hijo de más quien. Este es tu primo. Tu primo. And I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and I don't know anyone. <laughs> yeah, primo del mundo. I love you. Nephew. Nephew is sobrino. Nephew. Sobrino. Sobrino. And niece is the girl. It's Dina. sobrina. Right? Wife. Esposa. Esposa. On this one, only one. There is no option. It's only one. Okay. You cannot have two or three or four. Only one. Husband is the same. Esposa. Only one. Esposa. Yeah. And it's only one thing. Okay. Yeah. Si ya tiene uno, yeah. That's it. Esposa. Esposa. Right? Esposa. Esposa is like esposos. And that is in general. Puede ser para mujer o para hombre. She's my spouse or he's my spouse, right? Both of them are correct. And the next ones, this one, it's called father-in-law. Father-in-law. Father all, all the ones that are in law are the family of your couple, right? Toda la familia de su pareja, de su novio, de su novia, son in law. And then you can have father-in-law, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Okay, those are eh, familias políticas. And you say father-in-law, it's suegro. Mother-in-law, suegra. Mm -hmm. Sister-in-law, cuñado. Cuñado. Cuñada. Cuñada. And brother-in-law, cuñado. Cuñado. Brother-in-law is cuñado. cuñado. That is a very common thing in El Salvador as well, right? Por ahí lo ven con su hermana y brother in love and you're like and you get very angry siblings. siblings ah this one in the love of god the pronunciation of this one he peleado por 19 años de mi vida en que todos lo digamos correctamente parents parents parents, parents. it's not parents okay parents my parents, you say, my parents. 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 parents, mother and father, parents. right? Mother and father to parents. Parents. parents, my parents, parents, parents. parents. siblings, hermanos y hermanas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sizer también pertenece a la familia. No se enoje. <laughs> and here, I am going to have here Kaiser. Well, Kaiser, it's also part of the family, right? The dog. Kaiser is. Kaiser is part of the family. <laughs> That's the dog. Mother. Kaiser. Kaiser is. No, Kaiser. Kaiser is the name of the dog. Because I've heard Kaiser permanently. Pirulizer. 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 No. Kaiser, no, no. Pirulizer. Pirulizer. Right? Well, here in El Salvador, all they call Oso. Oso o negra. <laughs> Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law, it's suegra. Suegra. Parents-in-law, 
There's two of them, right? Suegra y suegro. My suegros. suegros. Los suegros, exactly like that. And they are, they are good, right? At least the ones that I have are very good. Let's continue here. Song in low. What is the meaning of song in low? Yerno. Yerno, exactly like that. And daughter in low? Don't tell me yerna, okay? Yerna. No! <laughs> Nuera. Nuera. And, and it is. <laughs> yerna. <laughs> <laughs> and it says nuera. My 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 mother always says like nuera la que quería, pero bueno. <laughs> Brother, cuñado. <laughs> Madre, te presento a tu yerna. <laughs> Brother in law, cuñado. Sister in law, cuñada. Cuñado. Step. Okay, así como les expliqué qué significaba in law, que era familia política. Step es familia, eh, ¿cómo le diríamos a esto? Agrega. Uh -huh. Stepmother, madrastra. Uh -huh. Stepfather, padrastro. Right? Stepbrother and, ste and stepsister will be like hermanastro, hermanastra. And for sure, we have others that are like the ones that you already know. Girlfriend, novia, oh, sure. boyfriend, novio. novio, okay? Remember that if you have this one, you cannot have this one, okay? Yeah, no, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you have husband, not anymore, this one. It's no. Mary. Yeah, no Mary. puede. <laughs> Children are? Niños. 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 Niños en general, right? Children. And great-grandfather. Great grandfather, bisabuelo, right? Bisabuelo. Great, great grandfather. It's like tatara, tatara, abuelo. Cada tatara. Tatara, tatara, Cada tatara is great. Great, 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 great grandfather. Tatara, 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 abuelo. Ya, hasta está de vuelta quizás unas tres veces en el mundo. Great, grand, grand, grandfather this one. So, what about your family? How many members do you have in your family? Don't count the complete family because if we count the whole Salvadorian family, it will be like, teacher, me faltan 500. It has to be small, right? I remember, I remember the day of my wedding. El día que, que nos casamos con mi esposo, me dice, only family. And I said, only family, 200 people. No, <laughs> that's not, that's not from God, I said. So a lot of people, right? How is, what is your, what are the members of your family? Who is the one that makes up your family? In this case, uh, you can take a screenshot of this. Te pueden tomar una captura a esto. Para que tengan el vocabulario por si se los muevo. There you go. So, donde les aparezco, pero there you Take a screenshot of the vocabulary. There you go. Take a screenshot there. And we are going to do the following. Okay, do you have it? Ya lo sacaron captura? El vocabulario? Yes. Okay, so I am yes. going yes. to. Yes. Excellent. I am going to move here on uh, the board, right? Here, far from this one, we are going to say, my family consists of, and here we're going to say, my mother, my sister, my brother, and me, imagine that you have one. Or you can say, my family consists on uh, my husband, my son, and my dog. 
that's my family, right? My husband, my son, and my dog. That's it, right? Si me preguntan a mí, my family consists of my husband, my son, and my dog. That's it. That's my family. The ones that live in your house, los que viven en su casa, okay? No los que viven allá por la colonia, los de San Salvador, los de allá de Paneca, los de Sonsonate. Los primos. Los primos, la tía, mi tía de Estados Unidos, la que vive en Arkansas, la que vive en Washington. No, only the ones who live in your house. Okay. Yo sé, somos salvadoreños y estas familias son extensas. So, my family consists on, and then you tell me, who are the members of your family? Write it on your notebook. Show me your notebook. Uh -huh. A ver, a ver, a ver. Show me my your notebook. My family consists on my husband, my son, my daughter. And your daughter. That's it. Right? Very good. Any other example? My family consists of my mother, my sister, and my two dogs. Okay. My mother, my sister, my two dogs, and me, you say. Remember that you are included ah, as part yes. of the family. <laughs> and me. Uh-huh. Another one. My, my, my husband, and my two uh, daughters, and my sister. Okay, my husband, my two daughters, and my sister. Very good job. So before anything happens, antes de pasar al siguiente punto de este ejercicio, keep your, keep your notes, okay? Le voy a pasar lista antes que nada suceda. Okay, that's important. And then we're going to share. Okay, guárdenme ahí la info porque me la va a compartir. Let's see? Okay. Let me just open this. And then remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? That's very important. Okay, here I go and I will keep you here. And then we're going to move to the next practice. Después vamos a pasar a la parte de esta práctica. I have right here. Ana de Leticia. Ana de Leticia. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Let's go with Ana Yamilet. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Daniel Edgardo Mengíbar. Present. Fátima Ivín Peña. Present. Mayerly Alejandra Pérez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Mayerly Yamilet Ardón. Present. Mireya Beatriz Cantón. Present. Mirna Yasmín Portilla. Present. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Present. Nubia Daisy. Present, teacher. Reina Jael. Present. Roberto Present, Carlos. Thank you. Nubia. Thank you, Nubia. Roberto Carlos. Present. Rosa María. Yes, teacher. Roxana Yasmín. I'm here. Roxana Yamilet. Roxana Yamilet. Let me see. Okay. Eh, Sandra Beatriz Melara. Present. Thank you. Ubaldo Antonio. Verónica Elizabeth Vázquez. Present. Vilma Concepción Sarceña. Present. Vilma Isabel Morejón. Present. Violeta Elizabeth Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Hernandez. Here teacher. And Jennifer Damisela. Here teacher. Okay. Hay alguien a quien no lo mencioné. No, estamos bien. Todos a todos los mencioné. Okay. And let's see. I have 24 people and on the list I have 24, 23, 22. Roxana Yamilet is not here. Roxana Yamilet. No. Okay, good. 
¿Hay alguien que se me esté conectando con dos dispositivos? No, vea. Ok, que no me sale la matemática. Ok, good. So let's continue. Let's continue then. We are going to move on the next step. I am going to send you to work for a little moment, like for two or three minutes in the groups. And you are going to talk a little bit about your family with your group. And you are going to say, well, hello group, my family consists on, and you are going to express uh, how is your family created, okay? All the people in the group need to talk. Todos en el grupo van a participar. So I need you to express, I need you to express your ideas on the groups. I am going to make five groups of people and we are going to be together for just four minutes, right? We're going to be together only for four minutes. So we need to take turns to participate and talk. Accept my invitation to go to the groups and you are going to share the information. My family consists on, and then you talk with your group. Accept my invitation. Le pasaré una invitación que dice unirse al grupo y le dan que sí. ¿Les llegó la invitación, chicos, para irse al grupo? Okay. Vilma, no le ha llegado la invitación. Veamos. Roberto Carlos, Yasmín, Nubia. ¿No les han llegado la invitación? No. Ok, me la voy a llevar a otro grupo. Entonces. Ok, Yasmín, te voy a mover a otro grupo. Nubia, no le llegó la invitación. ¿Y Reina? Reinita, no le llegó la invitación tampoco. Ok, déjenme moverla entonces a este grupo. Ahí está. En... Nubia, creo que se me quedó con la. Vilma, no le llegó la invitación. Roberto. Let's see. Un minuto nos queda uno veintiocho. Antes de que nos saque de la sala. Sí, si desean lo volvemos a repetir. Nadie, nadie lo va a sacar de la sala, no se preocupe. Ah, es que antes no sacaban. O sea, dejaban como dos minutos y de ahí se salía automáticamente, creí que así iba a ser. No, yo, yo aquí les manejo aquí de manera no, distinta. Estaba, Don't worry. Ya, no. Hey, ¿quién era su teacher en el módulo pasado? Sí, no lo voy a decir, pero no sacaba de la sala, se lo he dicho. Ay, no. no. ¿Quién me les hizo tanto daño? <laughs> ok, share. My family consists on... My family consists on... Ok, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Tome okay. el turno. My family, my family consists on my husband, my son, my daughter, and... Goodbye. <laughs> hey, I am here. <laughs> Ah, Did, you Did you finish? Did you finish? Did you finish? Did you finish? Nunca han venido a visitarnos por eso. Nunca lo llegaban a visitar. Hey, nunca. You see, but I am here. I am here. Y ahí platicamos, teacher. 
Okay. So, did you finish? So, did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. Very good. Gotcha. My sister. No, I am here. I am the one that is visiting you. Yo los vengo a visitar. Ya, ah, okay. ya no los iban a visitar en la sala. Hey, ¿Qué pasa? Aquí? <laughs> Salir de la sala. No, no, stay there. Stay there. Did you finish? Yes, yes. Okay, now let's go back. Yes. Let's go back then. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, so okay. we were talking about family members, right? We were talking about family members. Thank you very much for sharing with your group about the members of your family, right? In this one, it is uh, very common that we have a small families, right? In this one, for example, the one that I am showing you, we have a small family made up by the husband, the wife, the son, and the daughter. These are the parents, right? Father and mother, and the children, and they are brother and sister, okay? In this case, we have a small family. We can say that Annie, Annie, what is the relationship of Annie with Emily? What is the relationship? His mother. Aha, very good. Anne is Emily's mother. Mother. What about Emily and Jason? What is the relationship? Brothers. Emily Sister. is Jason? Sister. 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 What Sister. about Paul? What is the relationship of Paul with Anne? Husband. It's husband. the husband, right? Husband. Paul uh -huh. is Anne's husband. husband. What about the relationship with Jason? Father. 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 It's the father, right? So we have the different relationships. In this case, you say Paul is Jason's father father it is the same if you tell me uh, paul paul is the father of jason it is the same meaning right or i can say right in this case you say jason's father is paul paul okay the three sentences that I have there have the same meaning, right? Paul is Jason's father. Paul is el padre de Jason. Paul is the father of Jason, that is the normal one. And Jason's father is Paul. You have the three forms of the sentences. Now, based on this one, pay attention to the picture. We have a couple of more ideas. Anna is Paul's wife, right? Hi. Jason Hi. and Emily are their brothers. Children. Jason and Emily and are Emily. their children. 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 The children, very good. Los niños, right? Los niños, aunque estén grandes. Los niños. Uno nunca deja de ser niño. Are their children, right? They right. are their children. Right. Paul is Anne's. Husband. Paul is Anne's husband. husband. Husband, right? Paul is Anne's husband. Husband. Okay. Jason is Anne's. Jason is Anne's song. Very good. The song, right? He is the song. Jason is Anne's song. Very good. Emily is Paul's. Daughter. 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 Jason Daughter. is Emily's brother. Brothers. Jason is Emily's brother. brother. No, they are brothers. Jason is Emily's brother. 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 In this case, no. Brothers. 
is the brother, brother. only one. Jason oh, is brother. Emily's brother. Yeah, right. Emily is Jason's sister. 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 Yeah. Right? Emily is Jason's sister. Paul and Anna are sister. Jason's what? Paul and Anna are Jason's Father. parents. Parents, right? Parents. Cada vez que decimos parents, se muere un diccionario. Así que no, right? Paul and Anna are Jason's parents. Parents. ¿Se acuerdan de los mini sopena? De los diccionarios, de los. Cada vez que decimos parents, se muere uno. So please don't kill the dictionaries. Parents. Ya con ellos. <laughs> Parents. Okay, so in this Pero case, bueno. Anne is Paul's wife. Read with me. Anne is Paul's wife. Anne, Anne is Paul's, 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 Paul's wife. wife. Jason and Emily are their children. Paul is Anne's husband. Children. Paul is Anne's husband. Jason is Anne's son. Jason is Anne's son. Emily is Paul's daughter. Emily is Jason is Emily's brother. Jason is Emily's brother. Emily is Jason's sister. Emily is Jason's sister. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. Emily and Anne are Jason's parents. Parents. Disculpe, porque el apóstrofe que llevan el último nombre. ¿Qué es lo que diferencia? Very good question. Very good question. Yo dije, me voy a ir esta noche y nadie me va a preguntar esa pregunta. But that's a very good thing. Si se fijan, si se fijan, ¿cuál es el verbo de la oración? El verbo. Is. 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 Okay. And is la Paul's wife. De... No. It is the possession. Esto significa It's... posesión. Ah. Uh... El qué de quién. Ah, en este yeah, caso. Is. Ajá. So we say, Anne is Paul's wife. ¿Es la esposa de quién? Uh, ese, ajá, para eso me oh, oh, oh. ¿De quién son, eh, let's see? Ah, ¿De quién es, es la esposa? La esposa de Paul. No, no, no. Paul so, is Anne's yeah, husband. El esposo de Anne. Es el esposo yeah, yeah. de ella. Ah, ¿De, okay. quién, ¿De quién es el hijo? De, 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 de Ana. Um, ¿De quién uh, es la hija? De Paul. de Paul. ¿De quién es el hermano? De Emily. Emily. ¿De quién Emily. es hermana? Jason. De Jason. ¿De quién son papás? De Jason. O sea que esa tilde es posesión de la persona <coughs> que es la, la... Ok. In this case, it means possession, right? Es el qué de quién. Imagine okay. that I will give you one example. I will give you okay. one, one more example. And Thank I will you. use my mother. I will say, Carmen is, y ahí tenemos el verbo to be, por eso no puede significar el verbo to be. Carmen uh -huh. is Nati's mother. ¿Qué significa esta oración? Carmen es la mamá de Nati. Exactly like that. Ding, ding, ding. Carmen is Nati's mother. <coughs> If I say, for example, Henry is Nati's brother. That is. Henry, Henry is the brother of Nati. Exactly. Cuando ya nos estamos haciendo bilingüe, right? Henry, Henry <laughs> es el brother de Nati. <laughs> Henry is Nati's brother. Henry is el hermano de Nati. La mamá de Nati, right? So, esta, este apóstrofe aquí es la posesión, ¿okay? uh -huh. Es el qué de quién. En una oración okay. normal, si usted no quiere complicarse la vida en ocupar un, un posesivo, ¿cómo haríamos una oración normal con Carmen? 
So you say, Carmen, Carmen is, is the mother Nat. of Nat. That's a very simple sentence, right? Si de repente en la vida, en el uso del idioma, no nos queremos complicar usando un posesivo, que es más fácil porque acorta mucho. Carmen is the mother of Nati. Carmen is Nati's mother. That's oh. a myth. Okay. Wow, se fue. So it is, it is just like that, okay? So for tomorrow, we are going to practice this. Vamos a practicar esto mañana con los miembros de su familia. Así que traigámoslos ahí fresquitos para que no nos podamos confundir y vamos a hacer un poquito más de práctica en este tema, okay? We are going to practice possessive forms tomorrow. Si lo quieren investigar en internet, si lo quieren ir a hacer un poquito de grammar investigation, you say possessives with family members. Okay, si quiere ir a hacer su investigation, su grammar investigation en el día de mañana, possessives with family members. Eso Hello. busquen ahí en Google, en YouTube, en anything. Okay, possessives with family members. That is going to be tomorrow, okay? Have a, have a wonderful Hello. night, my dear students. Thank Go you. Sleep. See you tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow for the Thank next. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye. 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 bye.